coming. There's another set of triplets. Good morning everyone, how are we going today? These are all the ewes we scanned. We preg scanned again yesterday, all the, all the rest of the sheep that we didn't do the first time. We only did the early ones then. So these are all the twin lambers, the crossbreds. So we're taking them down to a Logan Park, down to the other place. As well as the singles, but obviously we've got to keep them separate now because we know that these are the twins. We scanned almost, oh, I think it was nearly 2,000. Might have been over 2,000 yesterday. Which was good, it was a good day. We scanned all the ones up at Doughboy, the ones, and then the ones down here at home too. So, all these twinners have got to go on the truck. Here, Max, come on. Here, Max. Here's your mark, go back, go back. Go back. Here. Here's your mark. Get away. Get away. Good job. Come on, dude. Sit, 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 sit. Come on. Come on, dude. Hey, mate, get away. Get away. Get away, mate. Come on, dude. Hey, mate, get away. sheep to bring back here uh, at the moment we might bring a few more back uh, I haven't quite decided yet there's not many sheep down here so it's also not as productive country as home so we sort of don't want to overstock it we are understocked at the moment but um, that's just the way it is We're slowly building our herd back up Uh, give me a fella. <clears throat> this fellow, when I was checking the ewes this morning, he, um, there was a set of triplets born and he's one of the triplets. Well, I think what happened was he was born and then he was sort of born on a bit of a hill and he couldn't, didn't quite have the strength to stand up and get his first drink. So, Dad just brought him home then and gave him a drink of milk and um, he stood straight up and he's He's got his strength back now, so I'm just gonna take him back out to his mum and he's, he's all her actually. It's her, her brothers and sister. And then later on we'll bring them home. They can stay in the shed for a couple of days, or at least around here anyway, just to make sure they, they get ahead a bit and, and get a good start, which is the most important thing. But he's quite happy now, he's making a racket, so that's always a pretty good sign when they're starting to make noise and call for their mum. They've um, got a bit of strength back and ready to ready to go. Yes. Let me sit down there for a second. 
There you go. It's the fellow we just walked out in the middle there. No. I'm not your mum. Your mum's back that way. Look, there's mum. There they go. She landed them all by herself last last while. Would have been early this morning sometime. I think I came out about 6.37 and she was sort of still licking them. So they wouldn't have been born too long before that. But she had no trouble with them, which is good. Alrighty, got all them carted down there now. So I'm just gonna go back and wash the truck out. It's, um, it's really important sheep poo and well, stock poo and weed is really corrosive on on the crate and the truck so we'll get off it as quick as we can and um, also we'll probably be cutting taking a wall, load of wool to Goulburn next anyway so it's got to be washed off and cleaned for that so we always try and do it straight after we use it because that's when the when it's all um, still loose when it dries and it gets really hard to get off so we'll go back home and do that now give the truck a quick wash as well probably while well, I've got it there. So I just washed the truck out, <clears throat> had a bit of lunch, and I'm just going to go out and get these these uh, triplets and put them. Uh, I think I'll put them in the shed here somewhere, or maybe just out on the grass. I'm um, in a little pen, just to keep an eye on them, give them a little bit of a help. Twins is sort of all right with like in regards to foxes. Twins, their mums can sort of look after them, but um, triplets it's sort of a little bit too many to try and handle. So. We'll just take the take that risk out of the equation and, and bring them back here and look after them for a day or two, and then they'll be strong enough. The foxes sort of won't won't be attracted to them as much. They'll be more attracted to the newly born lambs. So we'll go out and get them on the uh, mighty trailer, the massive trailer. I've just put it on the Ute because Dad's got the quad bike. So <laughs> I got my crook. Let's see if we can go catch ourselves a set of triplets. Um,
Hey little fellas. She's a good mum, so. It made it a bit easier to catch her because she doesn't want to leave her lambs, so. She was sort of more worried about her lambs and, and sort of getting back to them rather than me, so it made it pretty easy. She's not mad either, which is good. Just got a few panels. I'll just set them up here. She can trim on some of this grass and I'll get her some water as well. Not that there's probably plenty of water in the grass, enough moisture in the grass anyway, but. Hey little fellas. Yes. You're alright. Hmm, it's not so bad, is it? Must be tasty stuff. Pretty happy. So we'll leave them there for a, <clears throat> just a day or two and just keep an eye on and I'll make sure they they poke along all right. I just, um, first day or two is just the most important one and that's when they're most likely, if a fox does wanna, is looking for a feed, then that's when they most likely gonna do it. Once they get over that two days old, the, the fox sort of is either focused on other ones that are just being born or yeah, just, just doesn't, the lambs are a little bit stronger and and stay closer to mum then, um, so. Well, you're not gonna believe it. I'm just going around the ewes here later on tonight and there's another set of triplets. This one, however, is not as good as a mum. This is part of the reason we want to take her home, take the triplets home, because they are good mums to twins, but triplets can be a little bit chaotic. That's, I cannot believe that, that's two triplets on the same day. I mean, we usually get a few, a couple, like a few sets of triplets a year, but we've had Three or four so far, I think. Look at her. She's not as good a mum, this one. Too worried about me. There's, there's two. These fellas are a bit bigger than the other ones. Full. Yep. So if you hadn't noticed, these these ewes are on the paddock that the AI lamb the ewes were on. So it's really good feed in here. So we shifted the AIs into the next paddock, um, which is still pretty good feed, but not as good as this stuff. Just because in the lead up to lambing, they really need 
they need really good feed. So, and after they've lambed, um, you know, you can supplement with them with hay and, and give them a bit more of a maintenance ration as opposed to a pre-lamb ration. So, that's the reason we put them, the, the twin ewes on here. Just because it, it's really, it's really good feed. But yeah, I cannot believe that, that we got two triplets today on the same day. I'm thinking maybe it's because we gave the ewes a, a shot of melatonin before before they um, were joined. And maybe that's helped this year. Yeah, it is, it's melatonin, which is a hormone. And because sheep are seasonal cyclers, which like they only s s cycle better at certain times of the year, um, it, tri it, it makes them think, brings on the natural reproductive um, cycling of the sheep a bit earlier as opposed to them having to wait till autumn which is like yeah black pole dorsets um, cycle a lot better in the autumn so I'm thinking that's got something to do with it possibly or it's just lucky who knows we'll see how many more triplets we get this season if if so then I'd say it would be um, something to do with the melatonin We'll just leave them there for now and come back and check them a bit later. Anyway guys, that is gonna be the end of that's gonna be the end of another video. I hope you enjoyed that one. It um a bit of an exciting day, which is good. We're sort of well into lambing now. The twin ewes have started and the singles single twin and single stud ewes have started. Um, and a few crossbreds are just starting too, so it's busy times but it's good. It's good to see a new life coming into the world so alrighty guys hope you enjoyed that and with that we'll catch you in the next one alrighty see ya bye